Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. We're gonna take a, another look at the Signa Army that I have on the block, and also a little bit about the color scheme, because uh, here you actually see a fully developed painting method from start to finish. So before I tell you what's in the lot, <clears throat> this is black primer with a rust or red overspray, and it gives it kind of this two-tone look. And then the uh, artist, our old art director Cameron, which many of you may remember, he did this uh, sort of, I can't, I don't know if this is dark sand or pale sand, pretty sure it's a, a darker color. But anyway, uh, so he gives it sort of a, an overbrush with this, but it's very light, it's powdery. And uh, that gives it sort of this matte finish. And then, if like, you look at this guy, you'll see the next stages on him. You see he has this, uh, I do believe it's uh, dark Prussian blue from the Vallejo line that's been sort of washed over it. And that's what gives it sort of this grungy sort of uh, blue look to it, which I think is very handsome. We could definitely finish this army to this uh, same quality and standard. And of course there's a dry brush of metal, uh, me regular metallics, and of course you see some some uh, fire in there. So this is this is getting very close to a finished piece here. Now on this you'll see that that same blue has had yet another sort of very 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 light dry brush on it to give it sort of this almost glowing effect to it. So let's take a look at a few of, of the finished pieces here. Well in fact hold on. So these trenchers, these have stages one through four on them. But, uh, you know, and so you can get a really organic look from this. And, uh, so, and this, this really is, when you look at the finished pieces, you'll see a lot of the hallmarks of a higher level painting, like multi, very, lots of different layers on the skin, even though the skin is only a very small part of it. So anyway, well, let's take a look at what's in this army. So uh, first off, you've got a... Um, You've got uh, Marcus Siege Brisbane, and I do believe this is Striker here, or is it Strange Ways? I, I don't know, I got the cards out for both of them. Uh, I'm a little embarrassed that I don't know that. A Squire, again, there's the card for that. Uh, Swamp Gobbers, Reinhold Gobber Speculator, those are like mercenary types there. And uh, here you've got some Trencher Commandos. 12 of those plus a, uh, a unit attachment here. A Maxwell Finn, that's a solo, character solo. And uh, over here you've got regular trenchers. And I, I may be off on some of these things. Two heavy weapons including a chain gun and a cannon. And then some gun mages, completely unpainted there. An infantry rifle grenadier. See, what have I not mentioned so far? Oh, the jacks, of course. You have three light jacks and two heavies. And uh, that, is, that is the entire army. It's a really good army. It's ready to paint. We can finish it here at BTP. Or uh, you can just take it and knowing what you know about uh, the color scheme, you can finish it yourself. You get all these cards with it. Uh, I'm pretty sure all the cards are in there. There's certainly a giant stack. Uh, couldn't find a card for these guys, so uh, I don't know if that's just if that's if I just didn't see it or what's going on. But uh, this lot is up for sale. It's really absolutely fantastic, and uh, thanks for tuning in.